So there's a lot of discussion about whether or not we should even be using real guns on set. And, you know, when you hear the news story about what happened here and just in general and just the vernacular of people, even in filmmaking, is this idea of a prop gun. And I would like for you to set the record straight about what exactly is a prop gun, because oftentimes a prop gun could actually be a real gun. And there's a distinction there that people don't really understand. So can you walk us through what a prop gun actually is? That's an excellent question. And over the last uh, few days, I think that the public that wasn't aware of a lot of this, um, and rightfully so, understandably, uh, has started making a distinction there. So the use of prop gun has become just a slang term uh, for firearms on set in the general populace. But uh, in filmmaking, which is uh, what we're talking about here, a prop gun is actually a rubber or plastic weapon that is not capable of firing a blank round. Um, you have hard rubber and soft rubber uh, to use with stunt scenes where they would be you know, fighting over a weapon or hitting each other with a weapon or falling on that weapon. Uh, you have plastic guns that uh, from a distance look, you know, believable. And there are for scenes where you're throwing it across the ground or it's being, you know, uh, mishandled uh, in a rough way that would destroy the real thing. And then also both plastic uh, props and or rubber props uh, would be used in a rehearsal generally. When they're rehearsing, there's no need, no need on a normal uh, uh, average day to bring that out. Now, there's some times where the actor says, I want to feel the weight of this or I want to see what we're dealing with here. But that would be larger, more complex things. If it's just an average rehearsal of a scene, well, hey, let's give you a prop gun and let's not yeah. uh, even worry about bringing the real thing out. If there's anything actually being shot out of it, the, the flash, the smoke, all that stuff, if that is real and practical and not visual effects, that is actually not a prop gun. That's a real gun shooting that is correct. blanks. Am I, am, I, am I understanding that correctly? You're exactly correct. That is precisely correct. Now, there are versions of air guns and gas guns. And to get into technicality of it, airsoft, but all of that is not a real gun. We, that all would fall under some version of a prop gun. So if it fires blanks and it has fire coming out of the end of it, gunpowder coming out of the end of it, it is a real gun. Now, modern guns may require some type of modification to make them function properly, but the old stuff, uh, like that would be used on a, a Western, and require no modification because they're me mechanically operated weapons. Uh, so that is the distinction between a prop and a real one. And in fact, slaying on a movie set is a really. So when you're out there, you're doing a scene, you know, maybe it's a uh, uh, DB kind of stuff, and you don't need to see the gun up close. You've got some plastic uh, prop guns out there, but then they'll say, okay, we're going to be closer now. We're going to move camera in. Now we're going to have to switch out for a really, and really designates a real gun, which is a non-prop. 